Merry Christmas. Halo Reach Mythic Overhaul Campaign is here. Available to download on the Nexus Mod website. The creator is Mythic Jaqui. As I've said for Mythic Overhaul Firefight, this is the way Halo Reach must be played. If I had to choose only three words to describe Halo Reach, I would say rain, steel, organic. As for this mod, Mythic Jaqui increased the amount of rain in some levels. It's as if I can smell the wet soil, moisture, and the smoke in the air. We're going to do some thorough overview of Mythic Overhaul consisting of the first five missions of the Reach campaign. Mythic Overhaul changes more than just cosmetics. Weapons from other Halo games have been imported. Original Reach weapons have been altered to accommodate the more demanding encounters with the Covenant. As you just saw, the Reach Assault Rifle has a zoom capability, and this night vision highlights thermal heat. Pretty neat. You'll see these data pads around the campaign placed by Mythic Jaqui, which I think is just one other example of the love poured into this mod. This game is dark, cold, and omits an optimistic outcome, even if the best laid plans are achieved until the end of the campaign. Mythic Overhaul amplifies this inauspicious atmosphere of reach. Mythic Overhaul consists of a more vicious sandbox. The mod demands that you play at a higher discipline, especially if you're playing on what I'd recommend heroic or legendary. This fresh change in gameplay is so welcomed on much more powerful hardware of today, instead of playing the ho-hum retail Halo Reach version that had to perform on an Xbox 360. Let's take a look at a feature in this mod that creates more depth to the battlefield. You can pick up fusion coils, just like we can in Halo Infinite. The Covenant Plasma batteries are more durable and will not always explode on impact, so strategic aiming for collateral damage is possible, or you can use it for Covenant bowling. The added explosion effects for the Grunt's methane tank look so good in this mod. There's many more particles all around. There's UNSC ammo packs that you can pick up. The DMR and the battle rifle is a fun combination to use, and I like how the DMR has the same green ammo counter as we saw in the beta of Halo Reach, although the ammo counter font is the same as retail. <sighs> This is an awesome detail that I love so much when it comes to the imported Covenant Carbine. You can see green plasma continuing to burn the target for several seconds, depleting any energy shield strength before burning into the health. The new Elite Zealot Mythic Color Scheme. Now don't get too close to the Elite Zealots in this mod before being a little bit more methodical. They can cover themselves from incoming projectiles with an energy shield designed after the shield scene in the E3 demo of 2000 for Halo Combat Evolved. Yeah. 
it's so awesome to see that this shield made its way to Halo Reach. Another aspect about this mod I like is that Noble Team seems more like a unified and uniformed militaristic team, donning primarily Sage. You can still customize your Spartan's armor pieces and color, yet I decided to match Noble Team. After all, all that lone wolf stuff stays behind. Emil dons the CQB helmet, and he feels that 500 years into the future, the skull face gimmick has been overplayed. Skeletor did it best. This is the Hex Shield. This armor ability allows the user to shoot from the side of each hexagon while maintaining cover. Here is the Halo Combat Evolved Magnum. So sweet. to include the Halo Combat Evolved Assault Rifle. Nice, the original Magnum melee animation too. When it comes to armor lock in this mod, you can still move while using armor lock, but you cannot fire your weapon. I have not verified with Mythic Jaqui personally, but I believe this change in armor lock simply keeps the flow of combat moving, instead of the player stopped in a four point stance, scanning for nearby cover. Comes to the east. That's wrong. Good call. Let's get comms first. The vehicle physics have been slightly altered for the better. Each vehicle has had its speed and gravity increased. I can feel the solid horsepower of the Warthog and the grip it's finding. I can also feel the weight of the Warthog, and it's going to take some heavy explosive to get this on its side, or an 85 degree incline. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've got penguins in this mod. They're so cute. Interesting. This is a health regenerator armor ability in this mod. Very useful for legendary difficulty. If you're a Counter-Strike fan like me, you're going to enjoy this. Firing while standing will create reticle bloom but crouching will keep the reticle fixed. The Halo 4 DMR feels slightly more powerful than the Halo Reach DMR, and carries one less round in the magazine. The fuel rod with an imported Halo 5 Guardians model has the arc of Halo Combat Evolves fuel rod cannon. Even when they're dead on the ground, I think the alterations to the brute armor look so good in this mod. <laughs> Thank you. 
All clear. You can hear Covenant combat dialogue from previous Halo games. Get charge on it. Command is planning something big. They say that Cylon died at dawn. Since Mythic Overhaul alters the encounters throughout the campaign, this push through the Covenant lines with June really button up the ending to this level Nightfall. It's a type of grand finale that Reach Retail really misses the mark on. This shot of June and Noble Six overlooking the invading Covenant looks so great with the increased rain effects. The rain falling in front and splattering on the sniper rifle and Spartan armor punctuates the incoming forces onto the planet Reach. This is the reveal of the grave danger ahead. Now let's get bombastic. UNSC frigate Grafton fires 50 Mike Mike green tracer rounds and I personally like this change, whereas in retail they look too much like fireballs. Copy 2 Lima 4 bombing run heading 224.6 permission granted out. The zoom capability of the Halo Reach assault rifle is very useful. What's really neat is being able to use the spiker on dead enemies where it kicks in the ragdoll physics. If you're like me, you're going to have a lot of fun with this. The beginning of this level tip of the spear is much more intense. You gotta love that mythic Jaqui visual and sound effect of a headshot. Skaboodly Doodle's Mike 73 light machine gun has been imported into this mod. It's amazing. The weapon belongs in Halo Reach. This firearm was once seen in concept art and is now a reality in the campaign.
mining facility secure. I just had to pause it to check out the details of the assault rifle from Halo Combat Evolved. The weathered design fits the art style of Halo Reach. It's a high definition model created by Marcus Leto, Halo Combat Evolved's art director. You can find a lot of high definition Halo Combat Evolved pictures on Marcus's Twitter. Here is a variation of the Revenant in this mod. It's got two guns up front. The original Revenant is still available in this mod. I use this one for ramming. The beam rifle has been imported in this mod, and the focus rifle is also available to use. Fuel rod wielding grunts make disabling the spire's shield more of a challenge. <laughs> this mod is simply amazing. You can download the mod and view all of the credits for everyone that made the weapon imports possible on Mythic Jaquie's Steam Workshop page and the Nexus mod page, both linked in the description of this video. And check out my other videos I've made.